Huge news is Jason Momoa is flat out admitting that Aquaman is a franchise is done. Not only that, but he's telling you the expectations for Aquaman 2, it's a failure. We know why that movie is going to fail too. You and I, we're going to watch this interview together. Oh man, this is crazy times too. This is crazy times indeed. So hey there, by the way, let's get started. This is likely, I think, your last time playing Aquaman. You know, I don't necessarily want it to be the end. Right. Yeah. Now, with interviews, you've noticed this again and again. You have Jason Momoa telling you, yeah, I don't really want this to be the end, but, but, check this out. Yeah, so I don't think it's really like a, it was a choice. I think, obviously, the whole, you know, James and Peter and DC wanting to start the new thing up. So, I, I don't know if it will be, because the truth of it is, I mean, I guess if the audience loves it, then, you know, there's a possibility. Right now, I'm like... It's not, not looking too good. Now that is very telling for a couple of reasons. First and foremost, you're being told, yes, there is an expectation of failure. Warner Brothers, all the people attached to this, they know that Aquaman 2, it's going to fail. They're not going to be able to bring another movie back. And the way that they're trying to defend against this, they're trying to say, well, we already plan to flip that page. I mean, you ever heard people say that about, say, a Superman or say a Batman or really any other franchise that is made of over a billion dollars? Absolutely not. Why would you want to flip the page with this? Because the name recognition is no longer about Aquaman, Jason Momoa, Warner Brothers, or anyone else. No, it's about Amber Heard. They need to expunge this in order to be able to move on. Like, well, because you have a you have a story by credit in this, yeah, which is awesome. Yeah, and I think sometimes superhero movies kind of fall into this like you're setting up the next thing. When you're going into this one, was that something you were thinking about? Yeah, but I think I had all intention just because I love this character and I've been playing it for a long time. But that I I kind of see where I would want it to go, and even in the next ten years. So like, there's a lot of cool things it can do, and I do enjoy the role in the world. So, I mean, it's, it just comes down to if people love it. So, we'll find out. I mean, it, the, one, the cool thing is, you made Aquaman cool. Like... It's a really hard damn thing to do. Because it's, I mean, it's, it's, like it's, it's kind of a dorky character, and then you come in and you're like... We're like, okay. Now, Jason Momoa's face throughout all of this really tells you all you need to know. I mean, you can see the disappointment. You can see really anger sometimes, it feels like. I mean, I feel bad for him through this because the interviewer was right. He made this character cool. He made over a billion dollars with a franchise that nobody thought could actually be successful. And not only that, he had this expectation 10 to 15 years in the future. You'd be able to continue to play this character. And the reason that you can't is because Warner Brothers made a decision with a certain actress who became bigger than the movie. They don't want to say this stuff there, but you know why the movie fails. It's because millions of people spoke up. I think Jason Momoa himself, he understands this too. That's why he ended up unfollowing her. And that's why she, she ended up going after him. She ended up going after James Wan because she knew that she would help tank this movie as well. Yeah, but it's also fun just being the reluctant king and then, you know, getting past all of his ego and yeah. realizing what he's meant to do. And then, so, and then obviously now being married and having a kid, being the king. There's a lot of fun and a lot of stuff to explore still. So I, I, I don't know. It really just comes up down to the fans, which I think is really cool. If the fans love it, then so be it. How is Arthur the hubby? How is he as a hubby? Yeah. He's amazing. <laughs> He's amazing. <laughs> it's a good hobby. Yes, he's a great hobby. <laughs> he's a fun dad. Right there, you can tell that Amber Heard is on a press blackout. Why? Because they talk about Aquaman being great hubby material. I mean, he's asked straight up, are you great hubby material? Oh, yeah, I am. How can you tell that? Well, we're going to show these pictures here. They're going to show a kid 
We're going to talk about being a father, not talk about being a husband. Now, with that, that's not just a conscious choice from Jason Momoa. That is Warner Brothers telling people right there, you're not going to talk about her anymore. We're not going to bring her up. We're going to drop this movie out there, and we're going to hope for the best. I mean, they all know that she sabotaged efforts, that she damaged this franchise going forward. This shows you, again, blackout, and it also shows you blacklisting too if you need any further proof the dceu is effectively ending what conversations have there's rumors there's things going around have you and james had the discussion about what happens you being a part of the dc universe again in the future i know james gunn is definitely a fan peter saffron's obviously I'm very close to if there's a place in their world for me i would love to be a part of it having said that you know i've like this character's been for 12 years, so it really comes down to, I think they're really amazing men, and if, if there's something that uh, the fans love, I'm sure they would honor honor that, but I definitely think there's LB, this is my home. Warners and DC is definitely my home, so that's all I'll say. Yeah, there's that, I, 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 I read, I read. <laughs> and I saw that Lobo cover and I was like, well, Look at the guy. Look at the guy. <laughs> I was a big Lobo fan growing up, so I've had every comic, so that would be really cool. That would be cool. Would it be weird if you played a different character and then somebody else comes in as Aquaman? Well, I have different ideas about what the next Aquaman, if they did do that. I think there's a lot of cool ideas that they can run with. Like so. what? Well, I'm gonna go ahead and tell them first. <laughs> then I'm gonna, you're second in line. <laughs> Then you come right to me. Now, the discussions about Jason Momoa and Lobo, and he would make a great Lobo, by the way. I mean, he has the look down. He has the attitude. This would be the perfect casting choice. But it tells you all you need to know about the franchise failure and blame association. Because Warner Brothers, they're definitely not blaming Jason Momoa. And they shouldn't, by the way. I mean, the failure of this franchise is not his fault. They're also not blaming James Wan. They're not blaming higher-ups. They're not blaming 99% of the cast, either. They're blaming Amber Heard. I mean, when you look at this stuff... They won't even mention her name. I mean, essentially, she has been Voldemort in this. You know, you don't even bring up her name. There is no association there. Yeah, I mean, this is a franchise right now that is made around two hundred thousand dollars in china with pre-sales that was a market where they made almost 300 million dollars before they had this expectation of making millions not tens of millions millions off the movie and in the domestic box office they're expecting a return of about one third on the movie i mean again they think that this thing's going to fail they're allowing jason momoa to come out and say yeah this is going to fail but I'm going to be able to move on. I mean, he's telling you straight up that this franchise, it is not going forward. They're looking for any excuse not to say her name with it, too. This is big time. Five days before the release, and they're telling you, yeah, it's done. But anyway, let me know what you think about this. And as always, appreciate the heck out of you. You make this stuff work. Thank you. Can't say that enough. Want to help out the channel, by the way? Links are in the description. We could also use your help sharing all of that. But you being here, that is very important. So thank you. Appreciate you. See you soon.